All right, families, uh, future and current Bellflower families, I'd like to uh, welcome you uh, again to our AVID Information Night. Uh, AVID is a, an elective that we added uh, to Bellflower Middle and High School this school year for seventh and ninth grade. And we're excited to expand it next year to uh, the eighth grade as well, and then to the 10th grade. So next year we will have it for seventh, eighth, ninth, and 10th. Buenas noches, uh, familias uh, actuales y, y uh, futuras familias de Bellflower. Mi nombre es uh, Gil, Gilberto Castañeda, soy uno de los subdirectores. Los quiero dar la bienvenida a la noche informativa de AVID. AVID es, una, es un curso electivo que es nuevo este año. Uh, solamente en el grado 7 y 9 este año, pero el próximo año lo vamos a tener en el grado 7, 8, 9 y 10. Este... Oh, uh, a few other introductions. Um, Mr. Lundgren, uh, our principal, he's not here with us this evening, uh, but Mr. Lundgren is our principal. Uh, Mr. Rooks is our AVID coordinator. Mrs. Paredes is here tonight with us and she is our AVID point counselor. And Ms. Uh, Betance is one of our AVID teachers. Uh, el señor Lundgren es nuestro director. Él no está aquí esta noche. Uh, el señor Rooks, nuestro coordinador de AVID. Uh, la señora Paredes, uh, nuestra consejera del programa AVID, y luego la señora Betance, que, uh, cual es un, una de las maestras del programa AVID. Este, our AVID team includes content area teachers as well uh, from the different content areas, so from math, English, social science, science, and other electives. El equipo AVID también incluye maestros de áreas de contenidos de matemáticas, inglés, ciencias sociales, ciencias y otros cursos electivos. So our mission, our mission is aligned with you and it's aligned with students in mind. Uh, the AVID mission is to close the opportunity gap by preparing all students for college readiness and success in a global society. Este, la misión de AVID es para cerrar la brecha de oportunidades al preparar a todos los estudiantes para la preparación universitaria y el éxito en una sociedad glo global. So what is AVID? AVID, like I mentioned earlier, is a year-long elective that is now going to be offered to grades 7, 8, 9, and 10. Uh, so those students and AVID has a focus on college and career readiness. Uh, AVID also provides in-school academic support and teaching strategies for success. ¿Qué es la optativa o qué es el curso electivo AVID? AVID es una materia optativa de un año que se ofrece a los estudiantes de los grados 7, 8, 9 y 10. E, y luego tiene el enfoque en la preparación universitaria y profesional para las carreras. Este, el apoyo académico también en la escuela y las estrategias de enseñanza para el éxito. AVID equals student success. So no matter what post-secondary path high school graduates choose, students must develop certain essential skills to design their own futures. So they should know critical thinking, collaboration, reading, writing, and relationship building. All of those things that we need in order to be successful in life. Um, so they will be able to learn all of these things in their AVID elective. Es el AVID, este, es éxito estudiantil. Uh, independientemente del camino postsecundario post que elijan los graduados uh, de la escuela secundaria, los estudiantes deben desarrollar ciertas habilidades esenciales para diseñar su propio futuro. Pensamiento crítico, colaboración, leer, escribiendo, construyendo una relación. Todas esas son, son este, habilidades que son importantes en la vida como adultos y se enseñan en el curso electivo AVID. So why college readiness? Well, the data shows that college readiness is important. The earnings and unemployment rates by educational attainment as shown in on the screen. Those that are more educated tend to earn more money and tend to be less unemployed as you can see uh, on this graphic. ¿Por qué la preparación para la universidad? Bueno, los ingresos y la tasa de desempleo Aquí la ve en la pantalla por logro académico. La más educación que uno tiene, este uno ingresa más uh, en su vida y también la tasa de desempleo es menos uh, con más educación. So what is the AVID student profile? 
who is the ideal candidate for AVID? Students with academic potential. So if you are someone, if you as a family want your student to go to college and they have the potential, they're a candidate for AVID. If you the student, if you are a student on here tonight and you want to go to college, but you maybe are struggling a little bit in some of your classes, you have academic potential. So anyone with academic potential. Um, average to high test scores, that, that is not a sticking point. Um, and then GPA, someone who's in the middle, the academic middle. So 2.0 to 3.5 GPA. So it doesn't even have to be someone with um, with perfect grades. So if you are in a space right now where maybe you don't have all A's and B's, but you have maybe some C's and even some D's, then you're in the academic bit middle. Just because you have C's, D's, and actually even if you have F's, it doesn't mean that you're uh, not college bound. There's ways to get you back on track for the A through G profile by talking to your counselor, doing some credit recovery. Um, it might take a little bit, but there's potential there. And if you're willing to work hard, we can get you to college. Um, again, college potential with support because that AVID elective provides that support, the desire and determination to go to college and to be prepared for, for life after high school. Um, also, typically the first in their family to attend college, not necessary, but Sometimes a lot of our students at Balfour Middle and High School are the first in their families to attend college. The AVID student is one who can achieve in rigorous curriculum with support from the AVID elective class. El perfil del estudiante AVID. Estudiantes con potencial académico. Este, los puntajes de exámenes promedio a altos. Y también los grados, el promedio este, de grados de 2.0 a 3.5. Este, lo que dije en inglés es que no necesariamente tiene que tener su estudiante los mejores grados. Si su estudiante quiere ir al colegio o la universidad y tiene la potencial, este, él, es, él o ella es un perfecto candidato o candidata para el programa AVID. Este, uno no, no es necesario para el programa AVID de tener grados de A o B presentemente. Uh, pero con, con la electiva AVID, todo es posible. Todavía es posible eh, si uno tiene grados de C o D, el estudiante puede hacer cosas para ponerse uh, a, a, al sistema de, de ir a la universidad o al colegio. Este, otros, uh, otros datos aquí, potencial universitario con apoyo, deseo y determinación de ir a la universidad y por lo general el primero de su familia en asistir a la universidad. No es requerido, pero muchos de nuestros estudiantes sí son los primeros de sus familias que van a asistir a la universidad. El estudiante AVID es aquel que puede lograr un plan de estudios rigurosos con el apoyo de la clase electiva AVID. I see that Mr. Rooks joined us. Um, Mr. Rooks, do you want to jump in and do the, the English? Absolutely. Sorry, guys. Um... So hey, nice to see everybody. Um, I'm excited for this AVID program. So we're gonna go over a sample week in the AVID elective. So this is broken up by daily or block schedule. So we are currently in the block schedule. So students will have a combination of our AVID curriculum and our tutorials uh, twice a week with Fridays being a binder evaluation, a field trip, a media center. Uh, we have speakers and then motivational activities uh, to to build that team, uh, that team bond throughout the six years that they're in AVID. Um, AVID curriculum supports writing, inquiry, collaboration, organization, reading, as well as study skills and leadership skills. WICOR is uh, one of the big things that we use in AVID and we are actually doing it school-wide as well. Uh, one of the major things that we love about AVID and is that very beneficial to our students are the AVID tutorials. This is a time and place where um, students get to come with complex questions, usually from either their homework or a missed test question or something like that. And they can get guiding support uh, with college tutors inside the classroom. Thank you, Mr. Rooks. <clears throat> so, un ejemplo de una semana en, en la electiva AVID. Este, uh, la electiva son um, todos los días. Um, bueno, dependiendo en, en, en el día que tiene uh, la clase, porque tenemos diferentes uh, 
uh, horarios en, en Bellflower, este, pero sí tienen un plan de estudios de AVID, este, también tienen un, uh, una parte donde hacen tutoría, so, si necesitan los estudiantes ayuda académica y soporte, tenemos tutores de la, del colegio y de la universidad este, que ayudan a los estudiantes. Presentemente tenemos cuatro tutores en la clase con el maestro Brooks y con la maestra Betance. Este, y luego hay un día a la semana en que evalúan este, sus carpetas. Uh, también tenemos excursiones la semana pasada, ya que tu, tuvimos la oportunidad uh, con, con todos los protocolos. Uh, tu, tuvimos una excursión a la Universidad Cal State Long Beach uh, y, y fueron nuestros maestros uh, y la consejera. Este, también centro de comunicaciones, oradores que vienen y luego actividades motivacionales. Este, el plan de estudios AVER apoya la escritura, colaboración, organización y la lectura, así como hábitos de estudios y destrezas de liderazgo. En inglés este, se, se conoce como WICOR. Este, las tutoría, tutorías de AVER son el momento y lugar en donde los estudiantes hacen preguntas complejas acerca de cualquiera de sus clases de contenido y reciben orientación para enfrentarse a difíciles problemas y solucionarlos por su cuenta. Este, otra cosa que, que, que quería men mencionar de los tutores es que los tutores todos están en la universidad presentemente y también son graduados de, de Bellflower High School. Y eso era muy importante para mí porque quería que nuestros estudiantes estudiantes en el programa AVER sepan que hay estudiantes que se han graduado en nuestra escuela que también están en la universidad y ellos pueden relacionarse con ellos. Es, uh, one thing that I do want to add that I explained in Spanish uh, uh, to the families is that uh, something that we are really excited uh, for is the, the fact that we do have those tutors uh, and those tutors are all uh, in uh, college right now at the university level, and they're all Bellflower High School graduates as well. And so that was very important for us. We wanted to make sure that we hire tutors that were both Bellflower High School graduates and that are at the university level so that our students can build that relational capacity and really see that students that have graduated from Bellflower are also in college and uh, following and pursuing their, their university dreams. So this is a uh, course plan for middle school students. Um, whether they're in seventh or eighth grade, their elective will be AVID. And then they will have their regular course classes, uh, their English, their English seven or eight, math seven through eight, science, history, and then their PE classes. Once they get into high school, their, their, their coursework comes a little bit more varied based on their path. And so, and, and this is just a typical schedule that we have just as a sample. So. Uh, this this elective would be their elective that they would that they would take during their seventh or eighth grade uh, year, like Mr. Rook said. Este es el plan de curso para estudiantes de, de, uh, del curso electivo en la, en, el, en la middle school, en la escuela intermedia de los grados siete y ocho. Este, ellos toman la electiva el curso AVID durante su tiempo y este todavía ve que todavía toman las clases de inglés, matemáticas, ciencia, historia y educación física en los dos grados. Like Mr. Rooks mentioned, it gets a little bit more complicated in high school. Uh, there are obviously in high school, there's graduation requirements and there's A through G requirements that need to be met and the classes, uh, depending on a student's uh, path, some students uh, take harder, more difficult math. Some, some students take um, specific science courses. It all depends. So every, every student's schedule is different, but these are again, again, are just a course plan. It, it's a sample of what a possible schedule would look like. Um, something to just keep in mind is that the first couple of years, you may have to take a zero period uh, to uh, be able to fit in the AVID elective. And I know that zero period sounds very, um, like a lot because you're adding a class, but technically you have to feel you you have to remember that the AVID class is providing that academic support to assist you uh, with the rest of your classes. So in a sense, yes, you are adding a class, but at the same time, you're going to have a class during your school day that's going to be able to help you with all of your other classes as well, because you're going to have those tutors there to assist you if you're stuck or you need that assistance. Um, 
this uh, something that we're currently working on is for our incoming ninth graders. So between eighth and ninth grade, uh, those students are probably going to be able to take geography in the summer for original credit. And so that way, they actually might not need to take um, a seventh period class. So we will announce that to the students uh, once that is finalized. And so that may be another option that we take to be able to alleviate that ninth grade. But just keeping in mind that there might be some extra courses that you may have to take either during a zero period or during summer. Uh, so that way you can fit in all of your A through G or um, gra graduation requirements. Este es el plan de curso para estudiantes en la secundaria, en la high school de grados 9 a 12. Este nomás solamente es un ejemplo. Este, todos los estudiantes van a tener um, diferentes clases dependiendo en el nivel de matemáticas, en el, en el nivel de ciencias. Pero nomás este, quería que ustedes vieran un ejemplo de un horario de un estudiante que, uh, que está en el programa AVER los cuatro años. Este, si uno está en el programa, especialmente en el grado 9 y 10, es importante de saber que um, a lo mejor va a tener que tomar unas extra clases durante el periodo cero o durante el verano si están disponibles. Este, este año los estudiantes tomaron la clase de español 1 durante el periodo periodo cero. Y yo sé que este se, se oye o se siente que este Um, es mucho porque es una clase extra que uno va a tener, pero es importante de, de, de comprender y de saber que la clase AVER durante el día le va a ayudar a su estudiante porque esa es la clase que le va a dar el apoyo académico durante el día escolar para ayudarle con las otras clases, porque tenemos los tutores ahí y, y el maestro o la maestra que le van a ayudar también. Um, so aquí, este, co como dije, este, es posibilidad que su estudiante Um, tenga que tomar una clase durante el verano o durante el periodo cero para que ellos completen todos los requisitos de graduación y de, del colegio y la universidad. Now, once your student uh, becomes an avid uh, student, here are the outcomes that they're going to gain as, as being a part of the avid program. By placing the students in a setting that engages them in rigor with support, opportunities to explore their future pathways and deliberate instruction in self-management and leadership, students will develop the agency skills that will deserve them for life. With AVID, students excel regardless of their circumstances, socioeconomic status, ethnicity, or English proficiency. Uh, students really gain a lot more than just the opportunity to go to college with this course. There is goal setting, there's, there's WIC core, learning how to read and write and collaborate with students at a very um, a much deeper level than they would in other classes. So, para los estudiantes, este, ¿qué, van a, ¿qué van a sacar del programa AVID? Este, al ubicar a los estudiantes en un entorno de aprendizaje que los, que los involucra con rigor, con apoyo, oportunidades para explorar sus caminos futuros, y la instrucción deliberada en, en autogestión y liderazgo. Los estudiantes desarrollan la agencia y las habilidades que les servirán de por vida. Este, con el programa AVE, los estudiantes sobresalen independientemente de sus circunstancias, nivel socioeconómico, origen étnico o dominio del inglés. So, como dijo el señor Brooks, este, ellos sacan muchos, este, muchas habilidades del programa, este, cómo leer, cómo escribir y cómo estar preparado para ser adultos que funcionan en la vida después uh, de la escuela secundaria. In order for students to uh, take the AVID elective, there is an application uh, and interview process, which is on their Google Classroom accounts. And for six, incoming sixth grade students, it was, there was a link, uh, I believe, sent home via Blackboard. Um, and we can also reach out and we can get that information to you guys as, if, if needed. But the application deadline for students is going to be March 18th by 11.59 p.m. Um, like I said, there is a written component and an interview component. For seventh, uh, eighth, and ninth graders, there's going to be an in-person interview 
And then that's going to be taking place on the week of uh, March 21st to 25th. And then for incoming seventh graders, there's going to be a Zoom or a Google Meet uh, online interview that we will take place during the same week. And as, as, as always, if there's any questions, you can reach out to myself, Ms. Batance, or Mr. Castaneda. Absolutely. And I believe uh, you dropped off some information as well at the elementary, Mr. Rooks, or will you be dropping I off? I did. There? Okay. Yeah, yeah, so all of the all of the uh, in person, the, I had hard copies of the um, of the application um, flyer to send to all the sixth grade classes. Perfect. ¿Cuáles son los próximos pasos? Este, la solicitud del, del electivo AVID. Este, el plazo de solicitud, este, los estudiantes pueden aplicar presentemente. El, um, el enlace está en el sitio web de la escuela, uh, en www.bellflowerhigh.org. Este, hay un componente escrito y también hay un componente de entrevista. Este, las entrevistas uh, presentemente están... Um, las van a tomar en la semana del 21 de marzo y este el señor Rooks, si su estudiante está en el grado 6, este él entregó un papel, un flyer con la información y con el enlace este para la aplicación a todas las ele escuelas ele elementarias. Este, pero si tiene preguntas, también puede mandar un correo electrónico a la señora Betance, al señor Brooks o a, a mí este para más información. And I just wanted to add, I think Mr. Rooks mentioned, but the, the link is also posted on the school website on the homepage. So on www.bellflowerhigh.org. Uh, it's also on the homepage under the announcements. You can access the application link there as well. And that leaves us up for any questions. So we will open it up. If you want to add in the chat, you can go ahead and um, I will stop sharing just so that we can look at, so that way it's a little easier. Um, but if there are any questions, please go ahead and feel free to add them to the chat and then we will start answering questions if you have any. If my child is an Apex, how's that going to work? So, um, Apex, I'm trying to think, Ms. Mrs. Paredes, do we have any students who are in Apex and AVID right now? No, we don't. Okay. Yeah, I, I, that, I think that would be something that you would probably have to discuss with your student. I think with Apex, there's also a different path. So if they've been accepted into Apex. Um, those students technically are already starting on an, an on an AP advanced pathway, and so um, and not necessarily saying that they don't need the academic support, but they might not be able to fit in uh, the elective at this moment. So that may be something that you want to consider um, with your student, and then if you also want to have a conversation with Dr. Minitarani uh, as well. For eighth grade students who are in the program, they can receive college credit. Um, this isn't a college. Uh, this isn't a college uh, credit. If you're thinking about the Early College Academy, that's a different program. Uh, that information is also on the school website. We had that information night last week, um, and so that one is the one. If you're looking for courses that are going to count for college credit, uh, that would be um, that would be the Early College Academy. However. Um, those students who are in the AVID program also have the ability to take dual enrollment courses. So the Cerritos, uh, Cerritos College is a great partner and allows our students to also take dual enrollment courses uh, to be able to take them um, whenever, you know, during the summer or even during the fall and the spring, not necessarily a full course load, but students are able to take courses for advancement um, for academic advancement through Cerritos College. So if they're interested, if they're an AVID and they want to take um, some classes at the college level, like during the summer to get um, to get ahead or something like that, they can speak to their counselor before going on summer um, and they would have to fill out the Cerritos application, and get that filled out. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and answer that one in Spanish as well, just in case. Um, la pregunta era si este, el, el programa da créditos de colegio. 
Este, este programa no da créditos en colegios. Si, si quieres saber esa información, hay una presentación en el sitio web de la escuela. El, el, la Academia de, de Early College es el programa que este, da este, créditos de colegio empezando en el noveno grado. Pero eh, si uno está en el programa AVID, si hay oportunidad de tomar clases en el colegio, este, en Cerritos College es un, un socio con nosotros. Si están interesados en tomar, tomando clases en el colegio, sí es posible, pero tienen que trabajar con, con sus consejeras y es, hacen la solicitud para poder tomar la clase que ellos quieran. So for clarification, is this program geared for students that need additional support and tutoring? Um, Ideally, yes, um, and also who have that potential for uh, going to college and, and the university. So if uh, your student wants to go to college university to be prepared for post-secondary life and they need kind of that extra motivation, that extra push uh, to be able to stay on target, then yes, um, you know, a lot of times our students uh, are have a lot going on. They might not have the additional support, uh, you know, through home or through whatever other uh, means. And so this elective just does provide that opportunity uh, for that uh, academic support during the school day within within a class. Este, la pregunta era si esta clase um, es para los estudiantes que necesitan uh, apoyo adicional y tutoría. Sí, este, sí es un programa, una clase para que ellos reciban ese apoyo y, ese, y esa tutoría, este, pero si están motivados para ir al colegio o, o la universidad, este, a, a, muchas veces nuestros estudiantes no tienen, um, no, no saben a, a quién ir uh, o con qué, uh, con, con cómo recibir apoyo, soporte y esta clase este, le dan la oportunidad durante el día escolar. If my son ends this year under 2.0 GPA, can he get in? Um, you know, I think that's something that we would look at. I think fill out the application. We will consider it. Uh, they, we will go through the interview process as well. Um, and, you know, a lot of times in, in middle school, um, unfortunately, a lot of our students don't always take their middle school year seriously. And that's something that maybe we need to discuss with the student to see what that motivation is. And so if that motivation is there, if they're determined, if they can do it with support, then, you know, and, and they're willing to put their effort and their part, then let's do it, you know? So have them apply, we will uh, we will allow the opportunity. La pregunta era si su estudiante tenía este grados um, Menos de un promedio de 2.0, que los grados este, a lo mejor tienen Ds o Fs, uh, que todavía aplique el estudiante. Este, todavía vamos, vamos a revisar las aplicaciones y vamos a entrevistar a los estudiantes. Uh, es posibilidad que a lo mejor este, uh, que, que tuvo unos problemas o a veces este, no están motivados en la, en la escuela intermedia o no lo, tienen, no lo toman en serio, este, pero todavía vamos a, a revisar esas aplicaciones y que apliquen, porque si tienen la motivación y nomás necesitan ese apoyo académico, este, es algo que podemos lograr. Uh, my daughter was approved to join the AVID program at a different school. Does she still have to go through the enrollment process? Um, she would still need to fill out the application, yes. And I would I would include that in the application just so that we are aware, uh, just because that that information, that data doesn't get carried over to us. So yes, if they can, uh, if, if she can reapply and submit, and then we will also interview, and that would be something to include and let us know um, uh, in the application. Thank you for asking. One thing I want to uh, chime in, sorry, Mr. Castaneda, sure. is Go that ahead. if if your students on campus as a seventh, eighth, or ninth grader, uh, we are hosting Pride Times on Wednesdays and Fridays, where we are helping students apply. So if they're confused about the process, if they need a, any questions about the process, uh, Wednesdays and Fridays during Pride Time, um, they can come to my myself or Ms. Batonse to get help with that application. Mm -hmm. Este, si su estudiante presentemente es en el grado 7, 8 o 9 y necesitan ayuda con la aplicación, con la solicitud, este, hay tiempo durante la hora Pride este, para que vayan uh, con el señor Brooks o con la señora este, Betance y ellos les pueden ayudar con la aplicación, con la solicitud. Este, el tiempo Pride ellos te, se pueden este, enlistar para recibir esa ayuda. Thank you for adding that. And Mrs. Paredes and, and Mr. Rooks, please chime in if there's anything that I'm missing or forgetting. 
I was gonna say, uh, Mr. Rooks, do you want to put your room number in the chat box and Ms. Patances? Um, so Absolutely. some parents can write it down. If they have questions. Absolutely, give me one second. And again, just, you know, if, if, if you're not sure, you know, I would say just apply, go ahead, apply. And um, the, the, don't let the grades be the determining factor. Um, again, anybody who works hard um, and who is motivated and, and who just needs that additional push and support, um, we want to be able to help you. Uh, again, that's, that's the point. That's the mission of the AVID program, to be able to open opportunities for all of our students. Um, like the apparent earlier mentioned about APEX, uh, those students have that opportunity. We want to provide an opportunity for all of our students who are in the academic middle, who just need that extra push to be able to get to the next level. Este, uh, si, su, si todavía tienen preguntas, si no saben si su estudiante este, eh, eh, debe aplicar, uh, dile, a su, dile a su estudiante que aplique. Uh, si los grados no están donde están uh, o, o donde usted quieren que estén, es importante que, que solamente los estudiantes ten, tengan la motivación y que ellos hagan el esfuerzo este, para sobresalir en la escuela secundaria. Este, si ellos este, quieren ir al colegio y la universidad, este, y, y, no, y solamente necesitan ese a, a, apoyo académico que apliquen y nosotros, este, esa, es, esa es la misión de AVID. Queremos pro, proveer esa oportunidad para los estudiantes que necesitan ayuda y quieren sobresalir y, y, y tener éxito. Mi hija piensa necesita ayuda en lectura. Ok. Si necesita ayuda, eh, todavía es, es, es algo de esta clase, es, es apoyo académico que le va a ayudar para este, tener éxito en sus otras clases. So the, the question was that um, the student possibly may need assistance in, in reading, reading and writing. And so as Mr. Rooks mentioned, with core writing, uh, inquiry, reading, organization, collaboration, those are all skills that they're going to learn in AVID. And that all, actually all of those skills will help them uh, be prepared for all of their other courses as well. So in a sense, yes, it's an elective that they're learning other skills, but they're skills that they're going to need in order to be up to apply them into their other classes. How many students will be accepted in the program? We're looking at accepting um, at least 30 for each of the grade levels. So uh, 30 for grade six, 30 for grade seven, 30 for grade eight, 30 for grade nine, 30 for grade 10. Um, and so just keep in mind that currently we do have 30 students in the ninth grade who potentially could go into the 10th grade class and they don't have to apply because they already applied once, but we are looking at adding more students. So if there are more students who are interested, we could potentially open another class as well. So it all depends where it's flexible. Um, I know with the early college academy, we were limited to, limited to only 30. This one's a little bit more flexible. So if the numbers are there and we have a, a over, overwhelming um, uh, uh, interest, then we will look at adding more courses. Este, la pregunta fue si, este, su, si uh, hay un número de estudiantes que estamos uh, aceptando. Este, idealmente queremos tener 30 en el grado 7, 30 en el grado 8, 30 en el grado 9 y 30 en el grado 10. Este, pero este, si hay interés, si hay mucho más interés, es posible que vamos a tener más clases. Este, no, uh, todo depende en, la, en el interés de los estudiantes. Any other questions? Hay otras preguntas. <clears throat> ok. Well, mi hijo entró en un programa especial para nivelación académica por tres años y viene de otro país. Él podría aplicar. Gracias. Um, OK, so I think the question is, um, is probably the student is an ELD and coming from another um, country. Es posible, es un poco difícil. Todo depende en qué grado está, uh, porque este, si está en el programa ELD, es posible que ese es el curso electivo que va a tener que tener en su horario um, de, 
de clases. Este, pero si es posible, todo depende en el, en el horario y en dónde ponemos la clase AVID. Otra vez, si es algo que no sabemos uh, presentemente, pero que aplique y luego ha hacemos esa determinación ya después. Es aprendiz de inglés, puede asistir a esta clase. Todo, uh, otra vez, es lo mismo. Todo depende um, en, 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 en qué grado y si puede tener esta electiva en su horario. So, yo digo que aplique todavía. Aplique así para si, este, necesite, si, si lo podemos poner en su horario uh, de clases, hágelo. Um, so a few questions came in about ELD just so that our English speakers are aware as well in case we have any English speakers who are in the ELD program for whatever reason. Um, so we have uh, those students, depending on the grade level, have the ELD elective that they must take. Um, it, it all depends on when we have the class. So if this class, if the AVID class can be fit into their schedule, then sure, they can definitely partake in both of the classes. But it all depends um, because the ELD elective usually is their elective, especially in certain grades, in, in grades seven, eight, and nine. Uh, but it all depends. What I suggested is you still apply, and then we will make that determination once we once we have to deal with the class scheduling at that point. La fecha para aplicar es solo del 11 al 18. La aplicación ya está abierta ahorita y está abierta ahorita hasta el 18 de marzo. So the, there was a clarifying question and the application was from um, was from March 11th through March 18th. Uh, the application is currently open and it's open until March 18th. So that link is on the school website. Quisiera saber de qué se trata el programa y para qué les ayuda. Este, ya tuvimos una información, una, una presentación este, uh, que acabamos como hace 10 minutos. Ahorita estamos solamente tomando las preguntas. Este, la presentación empezó a las 6. Este, vamos a poner la presentación en el sitio web de la escuela así para que usted la pueda revisar ya después este, con esa información. So there was a question in case we do have any uh, families who showed up a little bit late. Uh, the question was, I'd like to know more about the program and how it helps students. I did mention to the family that uh, we had just wrapped up our presentation, uh, but this presentation will be available on the homepage of the school website in case you would like to review it and get more information. Any other questions? Hay otras preguntas antes que este acabamos por la noche? All right, well, thank you all for joining us this evening. Uh, we appreciate your interest and we look forward to reviewing all of your applications. Uh, again, uh, make sure that your students apply. Uh, gracias, este, uh, gracias a todas las familias que están aquí con nosotros esta noche. Este, por favor, que apliquen sus estudiantes. Este, queremos darles a la oportunidad del colegio y la universidad sus estudiantes. We want to give your students that opportunity for college and university after high school. Have a great night. Tengan buena noche.